we're going to have a nice, relaxing, chill Animal Crossing followed by Pokemon Moon. So I uh, hope you prepare for it. And thank you for joining me tonight. Some new things going on in my town. And uh, I'm working on it in a little bit. You'll see. Some cool stuff. I had a, I had a duck come and visit me the other day called Ketchup. And it's basically a duck that looks like a tomato that has a bunch of food. So maybe we'll, we'll do that again. Um, I updated my Pokemon, so don't worry. It's all, it's all good, all taken care of. Let's see. The stores are closed by six. By six minutes. Underrated Bowie albums that I dig. Outside, from 95, I would recommend. A lot of people don't listen to that because they stick in the 60s and 70s. Uh, big fan of Man Who Sold the World. I don't know if that's underrated. Station to Station is great and should be looked at. I also like Lodger. Not a lot of people put that in their tops. I would put that in my top five. And... Aladdin Sane is great. So those are some albums that usually... Because mostly when people talk about Bowie, they talk Hunky Dory, Ziggy Stardust, um, Low Heroes, they'll talk about Scary Monsters, and they'll talk about Let's Dance. But those are some of the, the lesser listened to ones. Low is probably my favorite. Oh shit, I got a lot of stuff. Anyway, welcome back to the town. And I'm immediately accosted by a duck. Oh, long time no see. Have you grown a little taller since I last saw you? That's ridiculous, right? Maybe it's actually me who shrank. You're kind of small to be... Begin with... Molly! You need to chat about something, Cronando? On a day like today, it's hard not to think of one of my favorite books. Harnessing the Power of Paste. I thought that would say pasta for a second. I looked over real quick. I thought it said pasta, but no. Paste. Who, who are you making the paste out of? Which one of our animal friends? Um, also, Bowie's album from three years ago, the next day. That is a surprisingly great album. That kind of has a lot of really good stuff going on in there. So if you're if you're into Bowie and, and you don't know what material, I just listed a fuckload of albums. It's pasta paste. But there is a dude who was like Vinny Vinyot. Why you no stream Earthbound? I uh, I streamed it yesterday. It, it should be on full sauce by now. There will be more Earthbound this week as well. More brick oven. HHA jacket. I don't really want that. Work table. And... Whole pizza. I'm running out of room in my house for pizza. Trash wizard robes? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... So, I want to thank, um, the person, Rick, I think it was, yeah, Rick gave me this pirate stuff. I think I was on stream when he gave it to me, actually. And, uh, as you can see here, the room actually looks a bit more piratey. It's not completely piratey yet, it's, it's pretty, um, it, there's still a bit of an eclectic mix of items, but it's, it's much more house. What is it with Rick's? It's much more like a real house. Now, the moment of truth. Did I buy an unnecessary pizza? No pizza is unnecessary. Yep, I had one already. Of the same kind. You know what? It wasn't unnecessary. I even... I even have a pizza oven now. Look at that. 
Hey, are we making a pizza here uh, in the room? Uh, Asoliono. We make it a pizza. And a table for whatever. I don't know what this room is going to be yet. Maybe just a pizza room? I, I don't know what the fuck this room is. There's... Uh-oh. Oh, great. Well... Something got blown up. Hey, Southbird, this is between me and you. Um, guys, just- just close your ears for a second, mute, whatever you gotta do, just, uh, earmuffs, earmuffs. Hey, Southbird, every time I press that button, you should show a clip from one of my other streams. Like, say, an explosion in Wolfenstein, or, like, a moment from another game that has an explosion or something horrendous happening. Like, um, maybe like a disaster in, um, in the city game Planet Coaster- wait, no. No, never mind. Okay. No, no, never mind. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> okay, you can unmute now. It's fine. So this is the jam room. I think it looks pretty good. This is, um, stuff from that one duck. Weber. Weber had a lot of neat stuff. So I just, um, decided to make my own... my own music room. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Got some xylophone. For, for no reason, just, you know. Actually, that needs a rotation, right? Yeah. And... here's an organ. Yeah, listen to that, a fucking organ. Is that a Hammond? But yeah, it's actually, like, I'm... Oh, I have to thank Steven for some more of this music stuff. He hooked me up with, um... This record... Not the record thing, the thing under the record thing. And the organ. And... The theremin. Another amp. And also that speaker on the wall there. So, pretty cool. Oh, vibraphone, yeah. Microphone doesn't do anything. Mellotron? I, I know a little bit. I know a little bit about Mellotrons. You, you may have heard one or two in a recent thing that was uploaded to the internet just today. Hammond B3. I like B3. Sent you a tweet about the trash wizard. This room still doesn't really have much going on other than it's just Link. It, look, it's a few Zelda things. All right. Okay, let's let's find out what this is because I'm I'm intrigued by the concept of a trash wizard. Also, uh, this overlay is a little. It's a little off, isn't it? Just very ever so slightly, like kind of off. I guess that kind of fixes it a little bit, right? Well, not really. Oh, there's gonna be space on the right there. That's a shame. It's almost perfect. Uh, mysterious masks and cloaks found hidden in a Boston subway station after more than 60 years. <laughs> oh my god. It did... <laughs> trash wizards. That's what they're calling them. They're calling them trash wizards. Here's a close-up. Oh my god. It's a 60-year-old trash wizard. That is wonderful. That's- that- it's me. I- I like that. Thank you for that information. That was quite enjoyable for me. So yeah. My room is coming along pretty nice. There's m much more appropriate gear in the house and it's it's less of a fucking disgrace so i'm pretty happy about that thank you for everyone that helped me a few people 
dropped by and, um, gave me some definitely non-hacked items. Definitely. So let me get my tools, and then we will begin... something. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do, but we'll do something. Do a trash wizard cosplay for any of the cons you attend. Someone will. I, I guarantee you someone's gonna be a trash wizard to a convention. What do you want? Yo, fine. Time to hit the hay and save some juice for tomorrow, Zip Zoom. So what's up, bro? I just remembered I have a favor to ask you, Vine. I got this gift for Ganon, but I'm too shy to deliver it myself. I'm kind of the strong, silent type. You gotta help me. Will you please deliver it for me, bro? God, now I'm reading Scoot like Mac from Always Sunny. Oh, you'll deliver for me then? Oh, that's fantastic, bro. Maybe Scoot is Mac from Always Sunny. You know? Well, that fixes some of that problem. Give me a second. Just, uh, no, not quite. Let me try this one. Yeah, that kind of helped a little bit, I'd say. Overlay has been somewhat fixed. Now we're kind of... Ugh. Now we're playing with power, I think. Yeah, now we're- now we're good. Alright. Sorry, that- that's the kind of thing that'll frustrate me. And others as well. So, it's for the best. It's for the best I take the moments. These precious these pr These precious moments. There are two overlays, one on top of another. That's- that's a way to kind of hide the inconsistencies a little bit. So, uh, if you missed my last stream, not of this, but in general, I played the game and in Inkwell said that he wanted to leave, and I'm not stopping him. So, Inkwell, Inkwell, well? Inkwell, Inkwell, Inkwell? The squid is leaving. Looks worse. Well, now you don't get a stream. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, these overlays, they're so good. But then there's just like minor, minor shit that just infuriates me. I see it. And it makes me like real. Like I have to nitpick the fuck out of it. I'll just leave it like that. I don't care. So what, there's some black pixels on the right, who care? Inkwell looks wistfully. Knowing that this will be one of the last days he's ever on the stream. Come on, fish. Get on there, it's, look, it's like a ride. Big fish, big fish, come on, big fish. Alright, now this is a fucking sight to behold, a squid is fishing. I don't understand. What do you have against- what do you have against your species? Well, kinda. This monster needs to be removed from this town. Squids eat fish. Man, nature is fucking crazy. Okay, there's a stop. Well, that could be useful. Right? Do not enter sign. Just waste my meow coupons on something I may never use. What do you imagine squids eat? I don't know, chicken? <laughs> oh, hi there. Are you making a delicious pasta sauce? Anyway, Franklin, a talented chef who visits the town each year for Harvest Festival. Franklin only uses the best ingredients, even outdoors. No campfire beans him. No campfire beans for him. Sorry, beans for him. Oh god. What have you done? Oh, you're using campfire beans. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. 
Nah, get some sausage. Beautiful. Sausage. Nah, the sausage, but without the beans. Dear God. Stew pot. Ah. Bunch of fucking shite. Ah, it's fine. Ah, what did you do with the risotto, you fucking donkey? Yeah, put a little more bu bit, <laughs> a little bit more peas on the risotto, yeah? Yeah, you like that. Yeah, put them peas on that risotto. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> So anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, um, meow coupons. I don't have very many of those. Uh, where's Ganon? Ganon is missing. So Inkwell's probably still fishing for, uh, sausage. Oh wait, no, here, now we can, we can have a chat. Yeah, Vine. Midnight training. You going solo, or are you on a team, Splat? What can I help you with? Your ordinance seems to be popular with folks here, Mr. Mayor. Everyone talks about how great it is to have stores stay open late. It makes my evening patrol a lot more interesting, Splat. Yeah, we got too many muscle butts in the town. You know, just... Simply... Simply removing one muscle butt will add to a number of different personalities that we could possibly attain. Oh, fuck, yeah. Put the peas on it, yeah. Like, Sonic is into the beans. Gordon's into the peas. Uh, long time no see. I don't know where you've been, but if you have any souvenirs for me, mail them. Yo, Vine, am I having deja vu, Zamboni? Didn't we just talk? Vine, big favor to ask you. The other day, I set a world record for the 100 meter dash, but no one was there to see it. So if you could go ahead and spread the news, that would be great. Thanks, bud. Damn, Boney. You're burning your eggs. Oh, fuck yeah. No, don't put the bees on it. Put the peas on it. Fuck. Christ. Damn. What were we doing? Thought we're not doing any more Gordon Ramsay impressions, I believe. That's what we were not doing. Okay, good. Finding Ganon. That's a whole different story. When Gordon met Dink. A tale of... Forbidden Love. Co-written by George R. R. Martin. Well, the shops are closed, so I don't think Ganon... I passed by Ganon twice? What? He's by retail? Oh, fuck. Whoops, I, I was busy. So I had this idea, maybe an artist wants to take a crack at it, but only one, or maybe, I don't, there's no way I can control that. But like, Mr. Dink is getting gradually more desperate, because Doug won't go onto the yacht with him, and he wouldn't put his used underwear in the trash can. So I think what Dink is trying to do now is, his plots are getting, like, increasingly more bizarre, and like, strange, and disgusting. And so he's gonna dis he's gonna disguise himself as a couch, right? And he's gonna sit on the couch, or he's gonna be in the couch, and he's, you know, it's gonna his his, his face is gonna be cut through a hole in the couch. Doug's gonna want to sit down, and then he investigates the couch. He's or the chair. It's like a, a comfy like sofa chair. You know what I mean? Like one of those. And um, and, and he just thinks like, what's wrong, Doug? Let's sit in the chair. There may be a little bump in the chair. But don't worry about it. It just needs to go for service. Do you want to service the chair, Douglas? Oh, uh, fine, it's been a while, hasn't it? I swear it's been about a week. 
Man, it might be even longer. Is it my imagination, or are you looking a lot older now? Nah, it couldn't be. Such a jerk. What do you want, Cronando? Delivery. He's spreading his Cronando. Huh? Scoot really sent me something. I wonder why. I wonder what it is. Only one way to find out. Let's open it. Whoa! A striped wall. Oh, that sounds terrible. Hey. That's not bad at all. Thanks for taking the time to make sure that it got delivered. You can take this as a token of my thanks. See, but then Ganon is out an item. Scoot should have to give a reward. Comedian's outfit. If you don't like my gift, just act like I gave you pajamas instead. Also, what is Scoot doing with Drake? Why were they jousting each other like a minute ago? Wow. That looks fucking terrible. For the first time in my life, I can be funny. I now have permission. Scoot, let me tell you a joke. You're such a night owl. More so than me. I'm just about tuckered out, subsume what you need. I delivered it. Yeah, thanks for handling that delivery to Ganon. So how'd it go? I don't remember. Oh, I was just hoping to find out if everything went okay. Oh well, I guess the important thing is you delivered it fine. Kind of a random question, but if you had a million bells, what would you do with it? Um, probably repay loans like to Tom Nook. <sighs> That's so responsible, but what about our dreams, Zipsoom? What dreams? Like our dreams together? Scoot, what the fuck? How do you know? I mean... Oh fuck, G Ganon's making a beeline for Scoot. Ganon just saved me from Scoot. I think Scoot's getting a little obsessive lately. Maybe this whole time Ganon's been trying to save me from Scoot's, like, overbearingness. Let's see, Ganon's gonna go have a talk with Scoot. Like, dude, what are you doing? Don't let him know. You know, you can't let them know. Alright, never mind, that didn't happen. Ganon just clearly walked away from Scoot. I don't think Ganon and Scoot like each other very much. Well, I'm so sleepy. It's definitely time for bed, Vine. Anyway, did you need something? I wonder if there's a way to make my room look cooler. I know, fine. Do you have any furniture you could recommend to me? Anything will do. I, I trust your taste, Quacko. Um... Drake. What would I give Drake? Oh, shit. Someone in chat just said, Vine Sauce, can you not give shitty subplots to every game? That's- that's all Animal Crossing is! There's nothing else in this game! I have to give subplots! Well, you're watching the wrong stream! I- It's okay, I forgive you, my son. Just lay your head on my breast. Oh, put your head in my belly. Let me rub your head in my breast. Oh! Bono likes to forgive. That's right. Oh. You've been forgiven by Bono. Do not enter sign. Do not enter sign. Okay, well now I have to do something with these. I actually don't remember having acquired the other one. <laughs> Oi! There we go. It's under construction. Do not enter.
I got jostled by a hater a little bit. I'm I'm gonna really seriously rethink my life's decisions after that. He hating. He coming to my stream. He hating. No more subplots. No more side stories. Even though I'm pretty sure he was just joking around. It's more fun to just, you know, go along with it. Where's Drake? What'd you do with Drake? Where's the body? Oh, fuck. I mean, where where is the character Drake in this village at this present moment? I think I'm gonna make another snow dong. Snowman. I don't want to make a fucked up one. I'll find Drake in a second. First. There we go. Nice and fucked. Ah, it's another snow tyke? Do you even think about the consequences of your actions? Everyone's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> My body might be cold, but my heart is warm. Sorry? <laughs> it's good. Have you seen Drake? No, I'm not tre cheating on you with another duck. I just need to give him this fucking crap I have in my inventory. Okay, I'm seriously upset. Drake was just here just a minute ago. Oh, you're fishing. Am I blind? Maybe fish stew is what's for dinner tonight, quacko. I guess you could say... ...that this snow tyke is, uh... Real snowwear man! Living in his snowwear land! Making all his snowwear plans for nobody. Drake, are you done yet? Fuck, stop fishing. There's nothing in this shitty pond. I'll wait. I'll just, I'll wait. I'll observe. Oh fuck, what do you want? What do you want? I was waiting for Drake. Would you be interested in buying a banana? <laughs> Okay! <laughs> Could you imagine that? Hopefully I wasn't too pushy as a salesperson. I think you'll enjoy the banana. That's a very bizarre thing. Molly was... looking for me specifically. Fucking came up to me, stopped me, and then asked if I wanted to buy a banana of all things. What the hell? What are you- what are you- what are you implying? What's the implication? You know, dude, the implication. What is it? I don't even know if it'll grow here. You gave it to her on Christmas? Wait a minute. Is that confirmed? Did she just re-gift me the thing I gave her on Christmas? No fucking way. You have to plant it on the beach? Oh, well that banana's fucked now. Alright, well it's like I never got one. That's- that is a ballsy move, M Molly. She just gave me... Like... A 15-day-old... ...banana. Amazing. Hey there, look at us bumping into each other again, Quacko. Anyway, did you need something? She she sold it to me. Alright, well, don't rub it in. 
semantics gave it to me, sold it to me. Outdoor bath. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, she she actually sold the shitty gift I gave her back to me, and somehow I bought it willingly. Well, this this is a... That's gonna die. So, what's the point? And now it's gone. And now the, the fucking $800 banana is, is gone. However, did you ever notice that the banana is designed almost perfectly? for a human hand. Wouldn't you say that confirms some sort of creator? Some sort of omnipotent god-like creature that controls all of our actions? I don't know. One that makes us do things and pulls the strings like a puppet. There's a dude in chat who says, I want to unsub. But they're not even subbed to begin with. So you have to unsub someone else. That's- that's the only way that, that you can make that work. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Scoot, tell me something interesting. Whew, check out my awesome soda case. You're into stuff like this, right? I knew it. I'm mean, gonna give you mine, don't you? I, I guess. What? You're not excited? Come on, just take my stuff. You know you want to. Anyway, I, I don't remember where I got half my stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal to me. Scoot just gave me a- wait, wait, Scoot is like coming on to me real hard. Not like that, but like me- Scoot is really trying to be my friend here. You'll notice that I was pursuing Scoot as a friend for a very long time, and he was kind of like neglecting me or investigating me to find the bodies in the basement. And now Scoot is giving me stuff and telling me how much he loves me and everything. What the hell's going on? Where'd you get this? How, how did you even lift this, Scoot? Maybe he knows that I'm onto him, and he's just trying to butter me up so I don't hurt him. But why would I hurt a precious creature such as he? I mean, this is where it would... This is where it would go. If it were to go anywhere. Not, like, there specifically, but it would go in the basement. Maybe I need to spend. Well, see, now it looks nice down here. It shouldn't... It shouldn't have to look nice. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to spend. If that's the dead villager room, what does the pond represent? You tell me. I'm not sure. This room is kind of a waste of a room. <laughs> Considering I haven't done anything with it. The murder pool? River... sticks. Tears. The murder pond. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, my house actually is more of a house now, which is great. So I like that. I also have a wetsuit. Um, remind me, how do you get pirate-themed things? from 
Uh, what's his name? The, the dude? Do you have to... You have to go swimming, I know that, and then, then what do you do? Do you have to like... I don't know... Mal I don't know, what do you do? What do you do with a scallop? Catch a scallop when swimming, yeah? Alright, fine. Fuck. Come on. Fucking come on. Go. Go. You've got the duck. No! Ah, oh, fuck. What have I done? Shit. You need to find a scallop or he won't appear. Okay, well, we'll go scallop hunting in a second. Very finicky. Oh, where am I? This is like really not okay. Why do I sound just like ketchup or what? Your wish is my command. How can I help you today? Look, it's it's ketchup. It's just a duck who drenched themselves in ketchup. Just like swims in it. Can you move ketchup in? Because I'm like considering it. I guess I gotta ask her, right? Like, I, I just gotta go to the camper and have a little conversation. Oh, well, we've got. There's vacancy! Oh, ketchup. She thinks she goes with everything, but she really, really doesn't. Words to the wise, do not eat any of the pizza that she offers you. What's- what's wrong with the pizza? This is where I got my pizza oven, by the way. Kinda like that. Just wanna make sure to get all the coolest stuff. <laughs> oh, this is like your home, huh? Lucky you. You know, I feel really like I could make a name for myself in a town like this. I'm clearly destined for fame. The only question is when. Like now. Yeah, what's up? You should live here. No, for real? That's like exactly what I hoped you were going to say. I just love this place. Okay, just as soon as I get home, I'm gonna start packing up for the move. Biddy, biddy. We're gonna have to need- we're gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to change Biddy. Suck the Biddy, Bono. Please. Please suck the Biddy. So, a new duck. A new duck is present. And keep in mind, we have... Only nine right now. So that means that ketchup is 10, Inkwell's moving, Curly could easily move. So there's- there's room for more characters, and I've got plenty of cards, so... I was gonna really just hope for, um, a random villager. But, I don't think that's gonna happen. You need to have... 8 or less. To have a random villager move in. The reason no one's moved in to take slot number 10 is because, um, it just doesn't work like that. Let's go diving for some sausage, yeah?
build the campsite. That's true, I could build a campsite. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Where'd it go? It fucking disappeared right as I was about to catch it. Oh. Well, I haven't seen this character in a long fucking time. Gulliver. Cinnamon buttons are not currency. Oh, not yet, anyway. No, oh, today isn't a school day. Yeah, I checked. Ah. No, Lizzie, get away! Stay away from me! Ah. Uh, am I in the over there? If so, you must be an angel, right? I guess not. My name is Gulliver. I happen to be a simple sailor who travels the seven seas and searching for... Searching for an eighth... Uh, who? Oh, Lizzie is the name of an old girlfriend of mine. Nah, I'm just fooling you. It's the name of the hurricane that attacked me. Whoosh! Lizzie sure was a rough dame. Well, hurricane. After all, she completely blew all my memories clean from me, Ed. Pretty sure I was just headed somewhere, but I can't remember where. Oh, I know, it's obvious. Will you help me figure out where I was headed? Sure. You mean it? I haven't met such a noble skipper since old Bobbery of Rogueport. Not even close. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, anyone? Now, I suppose we should start with anything and everything that can I remember about where I was going. <laughs> The country I was headed to is filled with castles and look like they popped right out of a fairy tale. Someday I plan on finding sweet princess of my own and living with her in one of them castles. Plus, this place is famous for sausage. Look, <laughs> really famous. What? I don't care much for sausage myself. <laughs> what with me eating mostly grubs and fish? But grub sausage, wasn't I just talking about sausage, like, incessantly all t all day? <laughs> That'd be the absolute greatest thing ever. But it's not all fun and sausages. Science run rampant through all of its history. Heard of the theory of relativity? Yeah, don't understand it myself, but the guy who does understand it was born in this country. It's kind of smart. Sort of like an Einstein, you know? Really like head. Alright then, do you know where I was headed? You've got to. Obviously, it sits Germany. Germany. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly where I was headed. I'm glad you had an epiphany that it wasn't Albany or Tuscan Tuscany. All right, how do you know all of this, Gull Gulliver? How do you know that in Chrono Trigger I went to Trus Truscany? I can't speak. But nope, just Germany. Oh, it's so obvious now. Thanks to you, my trip is going to turn out just fine. Danke. Promise I'll send you a fancy souvenir. It might take a while, but you better get your hopes up. Jesus. Dude's fucking psychic. Or he saw me stream Wolfenstein. I did not get any, uh, Kronos trigger saves. Believe it or not. Solid, I did not. It was, um... I got, like, a screenshot. Excuse me. I got, like, a screenshot or two. But I didn't get actually, um... I didn't actually get any save states or anything like that. It's a lot of work. I mean, there's probably, you know, it's possible someone's, like, going through the game right now and compiling a bunch of moments. I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening. But, um, for the time being, so far, nothing. Like I said, it's- it's all good. 
there's definitely, even if it never happens, I think we got plenty of enjoyment. LaFrogs. You can't really beat LaFrogs. What was the joke? Does anyone remember the joke? The Lord and, the, and a commission or something? What was that about? I was pressing the wrong button to dive. Death! Dive in me! I was like, why is my character not diving? Am I too close to the shore? Wrong button. The commission is justified by the Lord. What a- what a joke. What a jest. See enemy. It was just a- it was just a little pukamuku, that's all. A sweet shrimp. Ugh. It's like touching it with his, like, hands. Like, don't do that. What do you- stop. That's weird. This is- by the way, this is actual footage from the upcoming World War II movie. Dunkirk. By Christopher Nolan. So... Spoilers. Fucking octopus. I should just like... I should just show up and choke this octopus in front of Inkwell. And just say, soon. I mean, that motherfucker would be out of this town by to by tonight if I did that. He's supposed to leave on the twelfth. He would be he would be gone in one night, and Ketchup could move in, and a happy duck family can live and breed and create a new generation of ducks, like Scootchup or Dr Drakely. Drake Chip. Schooly. Abalone. Fucking scallops aren't easy to find. God damn it. It's abalone? You're full of what? Abalone? Um, yeah, if you want, Nary, if you, if you want to try to make save states. Like I said, we, we definitely got a lot of enjoyment out of Kronos Trigger, and I think there's almost, in, in a lot of ways, you know, it would be like a fast forward to a few scenes. If you can get them to work, great. But I don't really want to spend my whole time playing through the whole game. And also, like, I kind of love Chrono Trigger so much, I almost don't want to ruin it by playing it with, um, the- the shitty subtitles. Look at all this 
stuff. Yeah, I've so I've seen some some scoots in other chats. Scoot is very popular, very loved, very very posted. Iconic, beautiful, memorable, legendary. A funnier emote than we've ever had. I guess I'll try a little bit more. I didn't realize how hard scallops would be to find. Apparently they're, they're really big shadows. I'll try- I'll try to look for a big shadow. I don't know if that counts as big. But... It's- it's not moving, so... Oh, it's just another fucking pukamuku. I clapped! I clapped when I saw Scoot! If- if I wasn't- okay. I'm gonna guess that that's not a big shadow. I would do the- it breaks new ground in its full glory. If I- if I had the energy to do so, but I- I don't, so I'm not going to. Pukamuku is a sea pickle. That's definitely not what I'm looking for. You guys are, are fucking, tr like, true champions that you get to watch me, like, go swimming in a baby- baby game. For a fucking scallop. What's the point of any of this crap, by the way? Is this just, like, just sea trash? Can I sell it? Or should I, like, bring it to the museum, or what? I'm full now. Someone in chat just said, no point in anything. And, like, I, I got, like, very sad for that person. It's like, oh, deep down I know he's right. P Pascal appears between 6 a.m. and 12 a.m. You're too late. Oh, okay. Well, I'll donate some of this crap then. But if you really think about it, at at its core, Animal Crossing really there's kind of no point to anything. That's kind of the fun of it. It's just... There is no point. Just go crazy. But isn't it nice to play a game with no point every now and then? Like, you make your own point? Isn't that, like, the point? It's nice. You, you, you kind of just relax. You just enjoy your time, you play. And then you just muse on the, um, inevitability of... Well, no, 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 we're not gonna go there. We're gonna just talk about how nice it is to see ducks and... Look, see? My museum. It's got some stuff in it. They- they exist together in peace. Where's my octopus? I don't think, um, someone says I need to unlock the upstairs museum. Like I said, I did 
a little bit more stuff with the museum on my previous save, the one that I sold the Tom Nook for 15 million bells. And, uh, this playthrough was not a museum playthrough. If I spent the time required to fill up this museum, I would start getting bored of the game. As, as I've said before, it's, it's re Animal Crossing Retirement Edition. Oh, the extra room. I, I remember that. I remember that. There was, there was a bunch of rooms upstairs. I stored so much crap in those rooms. But, keep in mind... At the time... I also didn't have secret storage. So it was kind of necessary. Now it's maybe not as much. Okay, we're almost um, ready for Pokemon, but I'll tell you what. We're gonna have... Asleep. So, for anyone who has been, um... For anyone who's been looking to come to my town, the old dream address kind of sucks. This is a little bit better. There's cooler stuff in my house, there's some cool villagers. Definitely worth it. Will you be streaming the Switch event, Vin? I'm figuring out what I'm going to be doing that day, whether or not I'm, I'm even going to be available. I think I will be. And in what capacity. Um, there's a chance that I'll be doing it with KY. There's a chance I'll be doing it without voiceover. Maybe just a host and chat. But, um... I think I'm going to try my best to be here for that. So I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow, definitely. It happens at 11 p.m. What, 11 p.m. Eastern? Records state the number of clients who have experienced a dream in about and a dream about the burbs is 3:38. Wow. Oh. Wait, what was the dream address again? Thanks for feedback. Carl named Car client named Carlos from Ella Melon enjoyed your dream. There it is. So here's my dream address. It's 5D00002951F1. Zero 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 Come on down! Seriously. Check it out, you might like it. 5D00002951F4. Zero 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 it's much better than it was. Step right up into the dance! Okay. Oh, nice music. What? I went shopping with Scoot the other day. On impulse, I got my sandbag on, and I thought about what I'd done, and I realized I have no use for that type of thing. Fine, I'm begging you, please buy it! Okay. Wow, you're really gonna help me out like that? I'm a lucky dude. Hanging out with Scoot. This may be our last interaction. Inkwell. So, uh, it's nice knowing you. Really didn't get to know you that well. Kind of just a novelty character. You know, because of Splatoon. Really. You weren't a duck or anything. So, you just stay there and stare out into the distance, motionless. That's fine. You could just keep doing that. Are you okay? Sorry. I mean, I wasn't gonna ask you to stay. If 
you wanted to leave. Yeah, I know I wasn't the best friend. I didn't... I didn't visit you. I didn't talk about you. I didn't really... Are you okay? Do, do you need assistance? Oh, he's just having a moment. Alright, well... I think he's got a minor case of serious brain damage. Too much subplot. Too much subplot. 7.8. Oh. Fake Qbert was a was a good bloke. Let's do one. Let's do one die. Okay, so we've got some new companions we can use now. I have new cards. And I'm gonna be shuffling. Between my new cards. So, I'm not sure which ones we're gonna get. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of the ones I used already. So, Shrunk... I believe Bubbles and Apollo, was it? Was it Bubbles? I think it was Bubbles. Cool. So, here we go. My cards are thoroughly and sufficiently shuffled. Who will be first on the team? Nibbles, who is a chef du jour. Everyone's favorite squirrel, Nipples. Nipples the squirrel. Next, Tank, with headlong charge. God help us all. And finally, Peaches, who's a hearty traveler. We are fucked. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Excuse me. Nibbles can cook. But we're gonna search with Nibbles. Just gonna utilize Nibbles' short movement to explore our immediate surroundings. Tank. Oh fuck, I just realized mistakes were made. Waste. Fucking absolute waste. Oh no. 50-50, I'm gonna take the chance. Step right up and take the chance! And that's the end of that turn. Leave it to a peed to impede my progress. Off to a horrendous start. Actually, I forgot to make the tool. Is it because I made a shitty Mario pun? Is- is that what... happened? 
uh, that I got perdued. I got perdued because the game heard me make shitty puns. In this baby stream for adults. It's because of many things, I know. I know all of the things. Well, you're pretty much out of commission, horse with the mouth. Okay, one log. I ever tell you guys about that Robert Plant song called Big Log? And how when I first heard the name of that song, I thought it was a joke. It's in fucking GTA. No, yeah, I have talked about it. It's in Grand Theft Auto V. Big Log. It's part of the soundtrack. And I can't help but think... Every time I hear that song title, I can't help but think about what a big log... Like, what could that mean? Well, I don't understand. What other connotation? Maybe someone can help. Why would Robert Plant call it Big Log? What- can someone explain? Is there another connotation? Like, what? Twenty-five palms, that's pretty good. Plant... He is a plant growing on that log. Oh, come on. Cause he popped out a big log. The log is big. It's- yeah, you can't- I mean, there's not a whole lot. Okay, it's either a log... ...in relation to, like, a tree? Or... Some mistakes. This this run is so fucked. I should have cooked. Um, it's either a, it's either a log of poop, or I guess a log of like your journeys, like a, a like captain's log. It could be that. That that could that makes a little sense. Or what if it is? What if it's, um, just a giant log, like, maybe by his house? Maybe outside of his house there was a big tree log. Alright, so maybe it's not just poop. Or maybe- oh, maybe it's about a joint, like a big, big joint of marijuana. Any musical artists you have an irrational hatred for? There's plenty. Um, a lot of the rap that my friend showed me when I was in high school, he showed me what he thought was cool, but it was just like his friends finding the stupidest shit. I don't remember the names of these rappers, but I'm telling you, no one... Like, they were really, really underground. Really underground. Because you had to listen to underground rap to be cool. And when I would go to my friend's house, he would play it for me, and he would be like, Oh, it's great. So there's that. There's, um... I guess, like, Seether and Puddle of Mud, like, bands like that. Just because... It just, it's like... It, it's just this, I don't know, it's just no. I can't, I can't do it. And also the Decemberists. And that one's gonna get me a lot of hate. And I've talked about the story on stream a few times. It's because I was... I was kind of forced to like the Decemberists, because there were a few people that thought they were the best thing ever, but they didn't like other music that I liked. So immediately, you shit-talk Billy Joel, and then you say the Decemberists are the best thing in the world. Okay, so we're already off to a bad start. Then, you can't stop talking about them. So we're... Then on an unrelated road trip, I was forced to listen to the Decemberists for, for quite a while. And there was one song about the sea that never fucking ended. And I changed the lyrics 
thinking I was very funny to, um... Will this song ever end? I don't remember how the song goes, but I just remember that one part. I remember my- my version of the line. And I- I got... Um... Shat on... Nicely. Because I didn't like the song that wouldn't end for- forever. And, uh... It just- it, For some reason, maybe the dude's voice... Maybe the vibe... I'm- I know they're great. I know they write good songs. I know there's good music there. But I think it's the circumstances surrounding the bands. Specifically, the, the Decemberists. And, and, and the circumstances of me being forced to listen to the music. And being told how great it was without being able to make- formulate my own opinion. That led to this conclusion. And to be fair, yeah, they were pretty good. But, best thing ever? No. I didn't think so. I thought they were just pretty good. What happened to the fog of war? Hey Jude never does end, I agree. Like, there's some songs that I, I can't listen to Hey Jude anymore, really. It's cool, but it's, it's just too fucking long. I played a fucking nine minute Bowie song earlier, but it moves around a lot. Wow, you suck, horse. I guess we'll go this way. The horse is literally blind? Oh, okay. Red Vox is fucking terrible. So, I know that, uh, it's an irrational hatred. And I know that I have- there are bands that I just- I can't explain it. And I know we all have that, maybe because of a band name. Maybe because of this, a circumstance surrounding the band. Maybe because you don't like the dude's face in a music video. I think plenty of people have their prejudices against certain types of music. Maybe you just worked at a place that played the same fucking song over and over again. Maybe an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend loved the band, and now you just- you just can't be bothered. You- you can't even... You can't even. Plenty of reasons that suck, but they happen. All horses can't see through fog? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, here's a good one. Radiohead or Chumbawamba? Chumbawamba has more than one song. Someone says, I used to hate Alice in Chains because the original lead singer looked like a guy who kicked my ass in high school. That's incredible. So you developed a prejudice against Alice in Chains simply because the dude looked like a dude that you didn't like. So he was a dude pretending to be a dude pretending to be another dude. Someone said, I hate Tool. No reason given. But Tool is, is one of those unfortunate examples of a band. I think Tool is a very good band. And I would love to see them live, and I hope their new album comes out. Ever. But I was never one that bought into the hype. I had friends that- that would proclaim Tool to be the deepest, most amazing, second coming of- of Christ. And I just always thought they were a good band. But Tool has very passionate fans, and um... It's like, oh, I like this band. Yeah, but Tool's better! I got that a lot. I'm sure everyone does that, but for some reason... I got that a little bit more from some die-hard Tool fans. And, uh, I think that kind of puts people off. I know people that don't like Radiohead for probably the same reasons that I didn't when I- when I first heard them. Which were stupid reasons, mind you. But, uh... We all have- we all have our reasons. Vinny, uh, so, oh, whoa, Tails says, uh, Vinny, I don't like any band music. It's not that they're bad, I just prefer video game music. Sure. Some people prefer classical. Some people f prefer onion rings. Some people prefer french fries. It's- it's all about your tastes. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little closed-minded. I don't branch out as n nearly as much as I should with music. But I guess certain things just immediately, like, hit the no switch in my brain. And I'm trying to change that as much as possible. 
But it, it, I feel like it's good to give things a shot and just give it a fair chance. Except, except Nickelback. It's an easy joke. Come on, that, that now that's a low-hanging fruit. Vinny, I don't like the black keys because they look like a bunch of wannabe hipsters. <laughs> Gotta be honest, dude. I wasn't crazy about the black keys. I didn't know what they were all about. But when I gave them a chance and I listened to Brothers in El Camino, I re they didn't, it's not hipster. It's 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 like classic rock slash blues. They're really good. They do look like hipsters. I won't deny that, but they're. I promise they're a good band, and they're worth delving into, if you like classic rock and blues. I saw them. I saw them live. And I was very impressed. Do you listen to EDM? I could. I choose not to on, the, on most occasions. I mean, like I've said a thousand times, if you have a th things that you know you love, it's hard to branch out and try new things. So why would I spend my time listening to something I might not enjoy? That's probably the biggest issue with being close-minded. And while I can def- I can listen to EDM, and I can listen to remixes, and I can certainly enjoy music that sounds like that very much, it's not often what I listen to just when I'm chilling. I've made electronic music to some extent, and I like it. Um, I like the sounds that they get. I like synthesizers. I like certain, like, kind of. I liked certain dancey beats. But yeah, it's not my main. It's not my main thing. I like Daft Punk, yeah. Quite a bit, actually. Do I like remixes or covers more? I think I like covers more. However, I did hear a remix of Feel Good Inc. Recently. And it was fucking... It was really good. It was really, really good. What DAW do you produce with? Oh, hi, water. I produce with Fruity Loops at home, and I have a fuckload of plugins. I use Sample Tank mainly. I use Isotope Nectar, Ozone, Fab Filter. Um, I have a bunch of really great SQ80, I believe, or SQL80 synthesizer. A lot of good synth plugins. Um,. But yeah, lately Sample Tank has been my jam. Sample Tank has got some great fucking sounds. Um, at the studio, because I'm I, I'm working on music. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit because we released a song today. It's a rock song. Uh, we use what well, Joe uses, um, Pro Tools, and Reason, and he's got a fuckload of plugins as well. So that's what we use. This is gonna be a waste of a turn, isn't it? Oh, I did it! Wow, this actually turned around quite nicely. I thought this- this fucking D.I.E. run was fucked. That's good stuff. What's the worst OST? I think Yoshi's New Island. Is probably the, one of the most brain hemorrhaging soundtracks I've ever heard. How do you qualify good music? I always get bashed by people who know better. Well, they then they're fucking snobs. That's your. There is no such thing as better music or good music. I know what I like. I know what feeds my. I guess, my brain, 
I know what makes me want to move. I know what makes me happy, what makes me sad. I know what music I want to hear. I know what music I want to make. Which is rock music with a little bit more to it. Little psychedelic elements. However, if people are bashing you for what music you like, fuck them. Enjoy what you love. And there's, it's subjective. Music taste is subjective. If anyone claims they know better music, even people that like classical music, like I get it, classical music is very intelligent and it's like you gotta be really cool <laughs> and, and smart to listen to it. But, you know, if you get just as much enjoyment out of Old Dirty Bastard, then you fucking enjoy your Old Dirty Bastard and you keep listening to ODB. Yeah, you know me. Oh, wait, actually, that's a different song entirely. Unless you like Nickelback, in which case, you gotta leave this chat right now. You're going to suck this cock clean. Going to suck this cock clean right now! Excuse me. That's cool. Please do not ban me, staff. <laughs> Please do not remove the stream. But yeah. So there you go. That's uh, Animal Crossing, New Leaf, that turned into a very intense musical conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll do more Animal Crossing at a later date. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do Pokemon Moon in a few minutes. And uh, it'll be good. So look at that. Isn't that nice? We're going to use that. Oh boy. So I'm going to tell you just a thing here which is that my band Red Vox released a new song today and um, I can tell you that it's the first song that we're releasing from our next album. It does not, well, we have a name. I'm not telling you the name of the album yet. And for anyone who's not curious, that's cool. I'm going to play it during the BRB and it's called From the Stars and we... Um, this was the first song we started recording for this new album. So if you like this direction, expect more kind of semi like it. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. So let's check it out. Album is not, it's not Blood Bagel 2. It's actually a full length proper follow up. It's a serious album and uh, we're, we're looking for a spring release. Okay. I'll be right back with Pokemon Moon. Enjoy. 